Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the length of an array in C. So let's start by creating a simple array. I'm going to call it uh, numbers. Okay, uh, I'm going to initialize this, this array with some numbers uh, such as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So I don't know how many numbers there is, there is in this um. Uh, array and I, I need to write a function actually I need to write a statement to get the, the number of elements of this array so to do that we're gonna make some simple math actually so let's uh, create a verb called int which which will be the number of elements so this could be a float but actually there is no such thing as a array with a float of uh, uh, number of elements. There's no 1.5 half uh, elements on a, in an array. Anyways, so let's um, create a variable called number of elements. Then let, remember to put in on OCaml. So to get the number of elements, I need to get the size of the array in bytes. Okay. So there is a function called size of which return the number of uh, of um, bytes that this um, array is using. So, and we're going to divide that for the size byte size of each element of the type int. Okay. So the type int, if I'm not mistaken, takes four bytes to store a number. So, so if we get the the total, uh, okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna write a a printed function here. So there is um, percent d elements um, total total main usage equals um, percent d. So let's pass number of elements and size of uh, numbers. Okay. So let's try over here numbers numbers so let's see if it is correct uh, numbers yeah so there you go guys um, I'm gonna print the number of elements and the total usage so you get, we should see a relation of four actually so the so there you go okay so I need to increase this font a little bit let's put a 36 is too big, I think. Let's try again. Okay, it's easy to visualize now. So, there is six elements, total mem usage equals 24. So, uh, six times four is equal to 24. So, that's why. <laughs> so, you guys can see that each um, element takes um, four bytes of memory um let's see if it is correct one two three four five six there you go it is correct so thank you guys for watching this video this is how you can take the length of an array so remember if you have like a uh, float um array you need to pat to change the data type to float and also so you can follow your code correctly so thank you guys for watching the video again see you guys next time